Now the distance between the source, let it be small d. How many, what are the positions at which I can measure the maximums here? So no, no, again, r very much greater than small d. <coughs> what is r? r is the radius. Radius of the path. Two coherent sources are kept. They emit light of wavelength, lambda, that one. Who will produce such coherent sources? Again, the lens only. We'll take help of lens only. So let this point be M. So they will subtend an angle theta. This will be tan theta. Let this be Y. So this distance definitely will be R. Let's get into the, so compared to the <coughs> ray two, the ray one will cover this much of additional path. So again, again, the our, our mathematics cos delta x equal to delta x by d. So we, we, which triangle? S1, S2, M. Look at this triangle, S1, S2, M. Looking at this triangle, S1, S2, M, cos theta equal to delta x by d, that one. Directly I'm writing it, delta x by d, or S1, M by S1, S2. So delta x is equal to d cos theta. I, I'm interested to know the maximums, where all, where all I can notice the maximums. So this should be equal to n lambda d cos theta. So what is the expression for cos theta? n lambda by small d. So d equal to three lambda, you take it, d equal to four lambda, d equal to five lambda, then <coughs> what are the corresponding values of n? n will start with zero, one, two, three, four. Let me put first d equal to three lambda. If d equal to three, three lambda, cos theta is equal to n lambda by three, or n by three. Then what are the positions at which angular positions at which we can hear first n equal to zero is substitute. So I'm going to get first one maximum. So theta theta equal to put n equal to zero. So theta what happened? 90 degrees. I'll, I'll get one maximum. Put n equal to one. So theta equal to cos inverse of one by three, we'll measure one magma. What is this theta? Don't do this one, take this as a reference. This is the angular position. So first for n equal to zero, for first theta equal to 90, S here I'll get one maxima. Then put n equal to one. So cos, <coughs> cos inverse of one by three is what I'll get maxima. Put n equal to two. Cos inverse of two by three, put n equal to three, theta equal to zero. So how many maximums, where, where all I can locate maxima? So this is one maxima. I think don't, don't put fringes, better let's show the dots like this. This is one maxima, here is one maxima, cos inverse of one by three, here one maxima, here one maxima. Shall I ask you uh, like a order, order should be n equal to zero, n equal to one, n equal to two, n equal to three. This order. So will I, if I go in circular path, how many maximums I'll notice? Say like a year four. So here also you put it four. Here also maximums will come. Then then in in the in the again the <coughs> second quadrant two. Well, so like this can we. So how many maximums will determine again the ratio of d by lambda? The ratio of d by lambda is what it will determine how many maximums it there. So now I want the position of that maxima, vertical position. W what shall I do for that? I think tan theta equal to suppose this position I needed. Okay, can I find out this one? Because I know this is capital R. I, I know the theta position sin theta is equal to that position y2 by r. 
And what is theta? Theta value is what we have cos inverse of one by theta. Like that, we can locate that position. And, and if this is like a some sort of like a sphere or a shell, this particular screen is a like a shell. In that case, so shall we go around? Not only here, as as you go around in in circular path like this, what you're going to see, you're going to get the maxima. If these two sources are kept in a shell, spherical shell, then what happens? This will like a dome, no? So here, if you go around here like this, and look at the the spot I'm moving. If you go around this uh, at all positions, it will be maxima only. Am I right? So I may ask you some three-dimensional idea also here. So this will be the, what is the vertical position? As yes, I can ask you these positions. For that, you should take help of the geometry. Here. This already we came across in the waves and sound chapter. The same idea is what we are bringing here. Uh, now, <coughs> uh, let me ask you one very good question. So how, how you analyze the conditions? All of you okay? Shall I scroll down? Yes. Sir. Let me put in another page. I kept, I'll, I'll keep one source here, other source here. Let this distance be four lambda, let this be two lambda. S1P, four lambda, S2P, two lambda. Five lambda, I'll write it. So now instead of the, the uh, earlier, you know, so two sources, let the distance of suppression be to seven lambda. Now I'm going to go more round in this circle. Then I'm going to move around in this circle. How many maximums I'm going to measure when I <coughs> complete that red color and the blue color circular path. I, I think, don't, don't, don't think, immediately take pen, paper, start drawing the diagrams and, and you, you can manage. Huh? Don't fight with pen like a, uh, by, by visualization. Straight away jump into the paper, pen paper and take it and try to work out. I think within two, three minutes you can crack it out. What is the question? As you move in the circular path, <coughs> how many maximums you are going to measure in both the distance? First, you are going to move in the blue color circular path, circular path, then the red color circular path. I am trying to generalize this path defense one. We have some idea. So th this is some generalization. Not only in YDAC, anywhere you can think randomly using this method. Anyone numbers? <coughs> There's a good question to think. You do one thing, draw draw diagram on in paper, no? Try to analyze. The, the, the only it can be easy. Otherwise, by seeing not possible, nobody can solve it. You have to scribble on paper.
anybody number anybody no, no, no. <coughs> i think you can do no very easy J just you have to stick on to the basics here no, nothing big okay let me start i think uh, let me do one thing what is the path difference of the <coughs> rays arriving here so no no at this particular point this ray will cover two lambda what about this ray how much of path it will cover to reach here seven lambda or so like a nine lambda this ray will cover two lambda to reach this point how much of ray one will cover path to reach here nine lambda so what is the path difference seven lambda so here is i'll start with Seven lambda. Now, similarly, let let's take the opposite point. The ray one, how much of path it will cover to reach here? Five lambda. What about this? Will cover nine lambda. <coughs> so, shall we put here minus seven lambda? I'll, I'll check the chat. Let's see. But twelve well, lambda, right? Why twelve lambda? Sir, from S two to that point. So here two lambda. For, okay, twelve lambda. Sorry, this will be twelve lambda. This will be five lambda. What is the path difference again? Seven yes. lambda only. Hmm? Path difference is what I wrote total. Yes. Path difference. No, no, sir. Why you wrote plus seven? Why you wrote minus seven? Here, what happened? The ray, the ray. I, I took the ray one will cover more path. Ray one as reference, so it will cover more path compared to this. No, the ray two will cover more path. So path difference definitely minus seven lambda. It should come. Uh, what about here? Path difference three lambda. This will cover five lambda. This will cover two lambda. So how much it should be like a three lambda? i think no 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 this is the condition now no from here is what we have to proceed seven lambda is there <coughs> next we have three lambda and minus seven lambda is there so what has to be done now here so after this what happened there can be a situation where the path difference will be 6 lambda let me keep on write things 6 lambda exact position okay we have to work out just i'm because okay sorry here 3 lambda is 3 lambda is there no 4 lambda will be somewhere here 5 lambda will be somewhere here 6 lambda will be somewhere here how to remove that dot sir okay no right so this is the, all of you please do notice these these are some very tricky numericals what you may encounter huh? you know similarly similarly on either side four lambda five lambda six lambda okay this one no no come for this one three lambda there can be a <coughs> point where it will be path difference will be two lambda 
lambda so here and come from this side also minus 6 lambda phi lambda minus 4 lambda I think minus lambda zero zero should come. There can be point where the path covered by both will be zero. So it can be on this side also. Two lambda lambda zero. Count it now. So, uh, sir, how do how do you can put it? So that's why what you should do, put seven lambda here, and get the minus seven lambda. Then then go around in this circle. Then then finish out this one. So like this, open by using this order of interference, we are able to trace it out. So total number of maxima as you move like this. Then again, you return back to the initial point, so you can count the number of maximas. Oh no! Now try to think like th these are the sources are there, sir. I, I will move here. Okay, try. Okay, put one straight line here, sir. I'll move like this. Put one straight line, sir. Why, why, why you are going like this only? It's my choice. No, sir. I, I will bring. I'll bring one vertical line here. Then I'll count it. Okay, you do it. Let there let there be path be like this. You can put it one horizontal line here. Better take two sources, keep it here. What we did earlier, go go back, go back. This, this is not something very new. Here only just <coughs> I am asked you to move around a circular path where the sources are placed symmetrical about circular path. But here I am putting a condition. Not like bigger circle. I am asking you to go around like this. There's a path. So I think there's a definitely wide varieties of questions what you can encounter of this nature so here i'll bring one line or i may bring one line here i'll ask you as you move from minus into plus into how many magnums or i may bring one line like this about unless these are the very tricky questions of the yds here we don't know what applications we are using but definitely students will be pushed to think in this way here so this seven lambda minus seven lambda thinking this three lambda is very important so y plus seven minus seven is very important if i take the wave one as reference wave one will cover more path <coughs> at this point compared to wave two then at this particular point the wave two will cover more path so it should be minus seven lambda not plus seven lambda able to analyze this condition hmm? okay i think uh, we'll wind up tomorrow we'll meet in college huh? So the in Telegram only I'm going to upload it because I don't have that uh, link option to be sent. It is uh, being disabled. Uh, I have to put in but Google Drive, then we have to send. Yeah. Now today, now only I'll upload it. Huh? Okay. And other other YDSC videos are there. After editing, I'll upload it. Hmm? Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, notes also will be sent. Hmm? Okay. Thank you. Love you.